In this video, I'm going to share with you my top secret working with Anchor Point inside Create Studio 3. And so this is going to be my new series of tutorials working with Anchor Points inside the software. And I'll be releasing more tutorials to show you how you can take your animation skills to the next level. Hey, what's going on, everyone? My name is Ali. And in this video, I'm going to share with you something that the CS team did not tell you about working with Anchor Points when you're about to have objects orbit or rotate around other objects in your scene. So without further ado, let's dive right into this. First things first, I want to show you the mistake before we move on and show you the proper way of working with anchor points. So I currently have an airplane that's going to orbit around the Earth image in my scene. And so once I start playing this, this is what it will look like. You can see it's imperfect rotation around Earth where it's not exactly how I want it. Although it looks OK, not bad, but uh, that's not the kind of rotation that I would like to have. Why? Because I see that the plane is not consistently rotating um, around or orbiting around Earth in the right in a proper way. So the reason for that is you can see the airplane is actually touching or overlapping Earth um, in my scene right there. So I would like to avoid this from happening. And so the typical way of applying rotation using the anchor point, um, what CS team said is that you have to have your object and then add a circle shape and then group both together, then you can easily apply a rotation animation and then have your objects orbit around other objects in your scene that way. But this is, you know, this is the, this doesn't look right and um, it's imperfect. And so it's not exactly how I want. So I figured out the be a better way to show you how you can do it. And yeah, let me take, let me show you this right now. So I'm gonna move this or remove it all together. And I'll show you the previous example that I had in my first series of this tutorial. So let's just go into my media folder. And so we're gonna have Earth and Jupiter orbit around the sun. So I'm gonna start by grabbing a rectangle shape and then I'm going to scale it up. Then I'm gonna make changes to the color. Um, I'll go with radial color. Then I'm gonna choose my first color as kind of orangey like this. And then I'll select my second circle to go for the second color and then i'm going to make it dark black like that next i want to extend the uh rectangle layer and the timeline for about you know 30 seconds just for the time being um, and then you can adjust the speed and length of of the effect however you like but i'm just going to demonstrate the right way to have objects orbit around other objects with ease without even having to go through this hassle and create circles or and group them up together. No, I'm gonna show you the easiest way to do this. So make sure to follow along because I have multiple examples in this tutorial. So let's go ahead and start working. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'll grab my sun image onto the canvas and then I'm going to resize it and make it small like this. Make sure it is centered and then I'm going to extend it all the way until the end. So it's lined up with my rectangle shape. And then I would like to have Earth orbit around Earth. So first things first, we grab Earth and then we drop it onto the canvas and then we resize it, adjust the size like this and then drag it to the left side of Sun. So right now, if I try and rotate or rotate or, or orbit Earth around its center point like this, you're going to notice that it's just going to rotate around its center point. But now, but I want to have it rotate or orbit around the sun. And so to do that, what you want to do is you go under settings and find where it says anchor point and then have that ready. Next, you want to have your um, alignments or guidelines you know, so that you can define the where the anchor point is going to go to make sure that this is going to orbit around the sun. So first thing is first, we go onto the ruler that's above the timeline on the right side. We click that and then we want to add a vertical and a horizontal line like this and then go back into the image of the Earth and simply go back to setting, click the anchor point and you can see we have the anchor point arrow on the center of the image so what we're looking forward to is simply and this is the secret right this is how you do it so i'm going to drag the arrow or the anchor point to the center of my sun image right there and that's pretty much it then i'm going to extend the earth layer and the timeline make sure it is lined up and now it is time for me to apply a rotation animation. So I'll simply just click on add animation above the timeline. Oh, make sure that your image is selected. Click on add animation. Uh, easing is going to be linear. And then I'm going to go to properties. I'll choose rotation. Now I have my two keyframes ready on the um, image layer. 
I'll simply just drag the second keyframe all the way until, well, 25 seconds or maybe further than that. It's really up to you how much speed you want to play this. Make sure your second keyframe is, is selected and then simply rotate Earth around the sun. And you're going to see it's consistently rotating around the sun just like that. And then now if I go back, press play, now you're going to see a perfect rotation around Earth without any problem. So this is basically the secret is dragging the anchor point outside the image and make it go onto the center of the other object that you want it to orbit around. That's basically the secret. This is how it works. So let me actually make sure that I have, uh, you know, Earth is smaller than that so we can grab Jupiter and do it that way. Let's just start and get this Earth image a little bit closer to Sun like this. Let's have a look. All right, right there. And then we need to go back into the anchor point to fix the to fix the anchor point position. So we're going to click on anchor point right there and then drag this guy back onto the center of sun like this. And then now if I just press play, it's going to rotate on a, uh, around the sun and it'll just look perfect that way. Next, let's just go and grab Jupiter. So we grab the image and then we scale it down like this. And then we, maybe we could just have it, oops, I removed the guideline. Just want to make sure it's, it goes back. Now I grab Jupiter and then I'm going to have it to the bottom left corner right like this. Make sure you extend this one also until the end of the, uh, in the timeline, that they're all lined up together. And then you want to do the same thing. So you're going to click on the anchor point under settings. And then you want to grab the anchor point to the center of the sun image right there. Next, just simply apply rotation animation. So I'll click on add animation. Properties will be rotation. And then easing would be linear for both in and out. Drag your second keyframe all the way and may, be sure that you extend it even farther behind, um, farther beyond the second keyframe of Earth so that it goes slower than Earth. And then make sure it is selected and simply rotate your image you're going to see a perfect rotation for jupiter around the sun like that let's just go back and then have a look and see what that looks like pretty cool this is amazing and it's so easy to do so that's it basically or this is how easy you can apply the anchor point to your animation and take them to the next level and it's just much easier than creating a circle and then you know grouping all this together and then have this uh, you know rotate and you know what you're going to end up with an imperfect rotation at the end of the day so again this is the proper way to apply rotation just changing the anchor point uh, to the center or to the central point of your uh, image or object that you want to have it orbit or or, or rotate around so this is going to be example number one now let me take you to another example where i want to create let's just remove the guidelines for now and so i want to create a um a wavy or a swinging flag right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab a circle right there and then i'm going to sh shrink it down and resize it make it small like this i'm going to drag it to the bottom right here and then i'm going to add a uh, rectangle so let's just grab a rectangle all right like that and then i'm going to change is size just to make it like this and so we have a vertical line right there and then i'm going to extend the circle all the way or i'm sorry the rectangle uh, make sure it's lined up with my circle right there uh, we could just scale these guys down a little bit like that and then drag them to the bottom right here next we're going to grab another rectangle so we're going to go and grab this rectangle and resize it also like this and then we could just drag it right here there and the next up i want to make sure that you know i change the color for all these shapes together so i'm going to select or highlight all the layers of my timeline group them up and then one of the tips that i want to share with you in terms of adjusting the color of all these shapes so you can see once you select them as a group you'll see under settings that we have all three layers so you have the option to change each layer individually like change their color however you like but i'd rather just do this you know and change the color of all the shapes at a time and so and this is something that you can easily do just by clicking on the cogwheel that's right above um, of the timeline right there to open up this uh, uh, panel which says easy edit properties and what you want to do is you want to connect all the shapes together so you're going to select 
this one or tick this one right now to connect it to the circle and then you want to connect this one as well now all three images are connected together so when we go back to the canvas you're going to see under settings on the right side uh we have the circle and you know they're all uh linked up together which means if i open up the color and then color settings and i can easily just change the whole thing just like that and then you know pretty much go from there next i want to grab uh my uh, logo so let's just go and get and grab that from my folder let's find where it is i should have a folder that says logo right there grab this guy and then we're gonna shrink it down like this and then we could just uh adjust the size make sure it goes in there and then extend the logo all the way until the end make sure they're lined up together then what i can do is simply just uh, group them up now i'm not you know i can make this uh, flag wavy but i'm not going to take the time to do that maybe in another video i'll show you how to do this but for now i want to make this flag swinging i can like i want to animate it and make it swing so all i'm going to do is i'm going to select both my group and a logo group them also together just like that and then now i would like to create a swinging animation where it swings from the center of my circle that's at the bottom here so in order to do that we want to go to the right panel and click where it says properties right there and then we have the anchor point setting so we can click on show anchor point and we can take that anchor point right here to the bottom center of our circle right there and then we can go to motion and then do loop and then we can to choose uh rotation then we could do a swinging and then uh the animation is there for five seconds or four seconds okay no problem let's just uh make it two loops extend the loop animation all the way until the end and then have a look and there you go right this is how you can create a swinging animation by changing the position or the direction of your anchor point and so you can see how beautiful that is that you have more control over your anchor point that you can drag it anywhere you want you just want to make sure that when dragging the anchor point that it goes to the to the central point of where the starting animation is going to happen whether that's going to be a rotation whether that's going to be a scale scale animation right this is going to be a series of uh, tutorials that i'm going to release later on that talks about scaling animation using the anchor point um and and for now we will just continue our series you know uh, covering all the rotation um samples or examples and then once we've we're finished with those i'm going to start creating another series of tutorials showing you how to work with a, the scale animation and changing the anchor point to level up the game of your animation and engage with your audience and really just have fun that's basically or ultimately the goal so that's just another example another one that i want to show you which was going to be our last example in uh tutorial today which is going to be a pendulum so how do we do that we simply just grab a rectangle like that and then we're going to change its size to make it a vertical line just like that and then what i can do is uh, change it, its color if i want to make it green like this and then i'm going to grab a circle so i'm going to grab a circle right there i'll also change this color to green right here and i'm going to resize the circle like this to create a pendulum so how do we do this we simply just uh, you know drag this and make sure it goes to the bottom of my rectangle over there and then i can just simply extend those guys for however long i want them to stay in the scene and simply group them up together now once they're grouped up i'm just going to grab them all the way to the top like this so we just see you know this part and then now it is time to adjust the anchor point and then you know uh, create our animation so to do that we're simply gonna select our group right there and then we go to the right panel and and find where the where our properties tab is click that and then click on show anchor point now we can take the anchor point to the middle top right there here and then we can simply go to motion loop and then we're going to select rotation we will do a swinging and then increase the number of loops to about four or something and maybe do the rotation do uh 35 40 40 percent or so and then make sure that you uh, extend the length of your loop animation on the group layer all the way until the end right there and then now when i start playing you'll see how beautiful that is so you can create multiples pendulum examples in your videos uh you can have you know text that goes in here you can have 
you can mask characters that goes in here i mean there are so many examples and uh you know creativity has no limit to be honest so i think you know you can cr be creative in your own way but i'm trying to inspire you with different examples that you can use in terms of working with the anchor point to create you know different type of designs and effects and this is basically how you can use the anchor point so that was me sharing the top secret of how to properly use the anchor point inside create studio to create an, an orbit rotation around other objects i hope you found this video helpful if you haven't watched the previous or my first series of this tutorial showing you the fundamentals of anchor point and how to work with it i'll leave a link to it on the top right you can click that and go ahead and watch it or you could just go ahead and watch, uh, wait until the video is ended, and then I'll uh, leave, you know, I'll leave that on the end screen or maybe in the in the description. So uh, if you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe, like, and share, or comment, and let me know your thoughts and what would you like to see in the upcoming tutorial. So until then, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.